Hey Gemini, this is Dana with Taurus Star Tarot, and this is a weekly update for you. I'm going to try to start doing this whole series at the beginning of every week, just a little, little quick update, and um, you can expect it sometime between Sunday night and Tuesday morning. So yeah, this is um, a weekly update. We're going to still do big, huge monthly readings, but um, for every week, after that, after the big monthly reading, we'll just do a little quick um, weekly update. Um, I'm going to do my spiel at the end of the video, so if you'd like us to stick around for that, please do. If you'd like a personal reading from me, you can reach me at TaurusStarTarot.com. Forty bucks will hook you up just like this, just for you, just for your situation. All right, Gemini, you open this reading very intently working on something, putting a lot of effort into something. What you're putting a lot of effort into is reevaluating your entire life and preparing to head out and have a brand new beginning and a brand new journey in your life. The Princess of Cups brings us to um, your feelings, right? Your, your feelings and the way that you feel. The Princess of Cups is a messenger of creative new beginnings in your life. With the Prince of Wands following it, telling me that you're just on fire. You feel so excited, super excited. You have a sense of enthusiasm, a renewed lust for life, and um, you're feeling really good. The Two of Pentacles comes in and tells me that um, you're working hard with the Eight of Pentacles on prioritization and getting balance in your life in order to take this new journey. This new journey is in pursuit of the Nine of Cups, the wishes fulfilled, comfort, happiness, and satisfaction, right? The be all to end all when it comes to uh, being happy in life. The Death card comes in and tells me that there has been a transition in your life, a, an ending, a change, a transformation, a transition, right? So you are transitioning into this new journey, right? Down here, we have temperance. There is some kind of, there's some kind of realignment and self-healing that is going on in your life in regards to um, commitment with the Hierophant. The Justice card comes in on top of temperance, self-healing, right? The Justice card comes in and tells me that there has been an injustice done in regards to a commitment in your life, okay? This Justice card, she's all about justice, fairness, truth, right? She's also about dishonesty. So there it has been some kind of injustice committed in a relationship, in a committed relationship, um, as represented by the Hierophant. In regards to the Six of Cups, this could be in regards to somebody that you are thinking about reuniting or reconciling with. This injustice in regards to commitment could be about family, um, nostalgia, memories, it's just something that is warm and fuzzy and familiar to you. This card represents family, children, um, familiarity in your life, right? Like I said, it could be somebody from your past that um, has screwed you over somehow, some way, right? Because what we have clarifying the Six of Cups is the Five of Swords. This is a card that is all about conflict, tension, loss, defeat, and betrayal. So somehow this, this betrayal, this conflict, flicked lo conflict, loss, and defeat is why this justice card is showing up right here. There has been some kind of injustice committed in a relationship. The Six of Wands comes in and talks to, and talks to us about... Um, progress, right? Progress. So the, the, or the lack of progress, right? The lack of progress in this particular situation because of the conflict um, and the betrayal and all of that good stuff with that five of swords right there. Two of swords comes in and tells me that you are confused, right? You feel confused 
and you're not real sure what to do about this whole, <clears throat> excuse me, about this whole situation over here. You feel confused. However, when it comes to the control, authority, establishment, and structure of your life, you truly want a passionate, inspired new beginning to take place. Hence, working hard right there, reevaluating everything, getting ready to walk off on a new journey, right? Feeling excited, feeling excited about this creative new beginning in your life. Pursuing the Nine of Cups transitioning into another phase of your life. This right here tells me this is why you're doing this, okay? This is why, because there's been some kind of betrayal, an injustice committed in a committed relationship. And now you are off on your own. You have confusion and a little bit of indecision in this little mix right here. However, when it comes to reality and the structure of your life, you are going to go forward into an inspired brand new beginning in your life. The world card reiterates that one life cycle is ending for you and a new life cycle is beginning for you. You're seeking personal closure from all of this bullshit right here. And the cycle, this cycle has been completed. It's over. You've integrated how you feel about it and you're ready to move on into the next phase of your life with some personal closure. Queen of Wands comes in and says that you are laser focused on success, determination and success. You are just laser focused on it. Eight of Cups. You are walking away from this mess right here. You're, you're walking away from it, right? Princess of Swords says that you are formulating a thought pattern and, and a plan by which you are going to take this new journey and this new transition in your life. Because this situation right here with the injustice um, was painful. It broke your heart. It was painful. And, um, you know, there's sorrow and heartbreak and grief, maybe some rejection involved in this. However, you're ready to release pain and move forward. This whole situation right here, right here was a, it was a huge tower moment for you. Um, it most definitely was a revelation and an awakening, absolutely positively, but it could have also caused some chaos and some sudden change and some upheaval in your life as well. Seven of Cups says that you have choices, right? You have choices and you, you, you know full well, you know full well that, that this whole thing right here, how can I say this to be just absolutely accurate. Okay. So this card, this card, okay. So the seven of cups, right? Seven of cups is about fantasy, illusion, wishful thinking, choices, and feeling confused. Now it's covered by this devil card right here. This devil is representing this person right here. This person that potentially upset your entire, your entire life right there, right? Your home, your kids, your family. Um, it could be this person was somebody that had come back from your past and was trying to reunite with you, but was still up to their same old shady behavior, right? Whatever the situation is right here and right here, this devil is responsible for the heartbreak that happened in this situation. So with the seven of cups, this devil is is, is about, I think it's about diversionary tactics, right? I think maybe this devil is reappearing in your life real quick, um, to try to, to get you off course right here. Right. I, I, I really do. I think they're, I think they're showing up again to try to get you off course. The devil that's responsible for this tower moment in your life, right? And the seven of cups being choices and confused and on the flip side, diversionary tactics. I, I really believe that this devil character is showing up 
one more time in your life to try to throw you off track right here. The alchemist comes in and says, you're not having any of it. You're not having any of it. The magician is, is about inspired action and power, right? Inspired action and power. So you are finding your personal power because you are determination. You are determination. You are determination. You are determined to, to, to bring to fruition what you've been working on, on this eight of pentacles right here, right? And then either this came up in your life and happened, or this was the reason that you're taking the new journey right there and the transition, right? Either way, the, the alchemist, the magician comes in and says that you are manifesting. You're not having any of it, Gemini. You are manifesting a brand new opportunity in your life, potentially a brand new financial opportunity in your life. The six of swords comes in and says that you are making a regretful because of the pain here, right? A regretful but necessary transition in your life. And this is a mental transition, right? It's, it's mental. Um, this, this, this world card, this is a physical and actual transition. Death, this is an actual transition in your life. The six of swords is about changing your mental perspective and transitioning out of one thought pattern and into another thought pattern, right? So you are transitioning out of all of the bullshit into the, the fool with the new journey, death with change and transition, right? The world card, a new chapter of your life beginning. Leaves you feeling like a boss with the king of pentacles, right? Like a boss, security, control, power, discipline, and abundance. Um, you are headed for good things and you know that this is not even worth your time anymore. The Prince of Pentacles comes in and says that you are, are, are planning for your future. You're planning for this new journey. You're planning for this transition, right? You're super, super determined, super, super determined to have an inspired new beginning in your life right there. Super determined to turn over a new chapter plan for your future, a control authority establishment in your life, working on something really hard, just putting the wood to the fire, right? You're really working on, on a new beginning in your life and taking a new journey, transitioning, right? Have all this bullshit right here. You could be transitioning into a new phase in your life because of this or, or, this could have happened when this devil showed back up for a second. So put it where it goes in your life. You're either transitioning because this happened in your life. This happened in your life because of the devil or the devil showed up midstream and just caused some freaking chaos in your life, right? Either way, if it happened before you began the transition or while you were in the middle of this transition, either way, you're putting him in his place or her, she devil, he devil, whatever. You're putting the devil energy, the toxic relationship in its place and you are manifesting, powerfully manifesting a brand new, potentially prosperous beginning in your life transitioning out, feeling like a boss as the King of Pentacles, totally in control and in your power. And the Prince of Pentacles says that you are taking inventory and, and, and planning for this, 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 this new adventure in your life. The Prince of Pentacles is slow moving energy, right? Which, which kind of makes me think that this new journey that you're on right here is going to last for, um, for, a, for a good minute. This card also tells me that this was not a willy nilly pissed off decision, right? You didn't just get pissed off and throw your stuff in the car and you're like, I'm out of here. No, this is a well thought out, um, carefully implemented decision to move forward in your life without this devil energy. So there you go, Gemini. That was your reading. I'm going to give a spiel now. So if this is where we part ways, namaste, my friends. All right, gems, 
it's important to watch the three elements in your, the three most important, in my opinion, elements in your chart, especially when you're looking at free tarot card readings, right? Because they are so general, but to kind of, um, kind of, uh, whittle away at the ambiguity of these general tarot card readings if you watch not only your sun sign which today is gemini gemini is how the thought patterns and the personality traits of gemini is how you receive information from the world the the your moon sign is how you feel right because it's about the gravitational forces and the tides and the ebb and the flow of things it represents how we feel so you pull in information as a gemini you process it as your moon sign and then you put it back out into the world as your ascending sign or your rising sign so it's important to cross watch for yourself and if you're watching for somebody else if you can find out what those elements are in their chart, you can cross watch those signs for them as well and get a much, much um, more complete and comprehensive picture of what's going on with the free tarot card readings, right? There's a link in the box below, take you to a website, unaffiliated website where you can download your natal chart, scroll past, um, you know, look at your natal chart. It's the first chart that comes up and then scroll past the rest of it. And down at the bottom, there's little synopsis about your personality type at the bottom of it. It's super, super interesting. And, you know, not only for tarot card readings, but for life. You know, if you know your kids, moon sign, sun sign, and rising sign, you know how they give and receive and process information. And you can use that to your benefit to be able to get the results that you want to get when you're interacting with your kid or your boss or your spouse or whatever. You can give information the way that they receive the information. And it just makes things... Um, makes things a lot more peaceful. It really does when you understand the way that people communicate. So there you go. There's my spiel for a personal reading. You can reach me at TaurusStarTarot.com. Namaste, my friends.